All right, what is going on, everyone? Back here with another video. Today, we have got an exciting one here. We have got a 2009 Apple Xer. Now, um, if you saw the last video, you'll know that I had a 2010, I'm sorry, 2012 uh, Mac Pro. And I just recently got rid of that, and I bought two servers, and this is one of them. So, uh, I originally had plans to turn the 2012 Mac Pro into a uh, rack server, you know, cut the handles off, all that stuff. But I just could not bring myself to do it. So I listed it for really high on eBay and Facebook and all that stuff. And uh, I kept getting lowball offers, you know, like you usually do on those websites. And uh, one day this guy messaged me, and it's like, hey, you know... I'm really interested in the uh, the computer. I'm an Apple collector. I collect Macs. Uh, I had it listed for $500, and the guy actually offered me $400 for it. And I was like, yeah, I'm probably not going to get that anytime soon. So I went ahead and took it. And uh, I also sold one of my R710s, which I'll show you in a second. But um, and I've got a, a really nice server coming here in the next few weeks or so. So without further ado, let me stop talking and get this thing open. <clears throat> so, we got this thing open right here. Let's hope it's not damaged. Oh, this thing is heavy. Holy moly. Okay, we got some paper. All right. I've always wanted to own one of these things. I just never could get a good deal on one. And this one was actually a really good deal. I actually got this for uh, $140 shipped. So, it was a pretty good deal. It's an XR 2009. Uh, it actually has the drive caddies in it, which is really nice. And uh, let's see, I'm struggling to open this thing. I actually wasn't expecting this server here until Tuesday. Today is Thursday. So, uh, well, I wasn't expecting it here until next Tuesday, uh, next week. So, <clears throat> oh. <laughs> Take that out. Alright, so. Alright. I guess we're just gonna beast mode this. Ah. Three hours later. Alright, so here we have it. All unwrapped. This thing is packaged really, 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 really well. Shout out to the seller. But let me go ahead and cut into this. In pretty nice shape, not really too scratched up or anything like that. So, go ahead and grab that. So, as you can see, we got the front of the X serve here. Make sure everything's still in frame. Uh, yeah, I got the front of the X serve here. <coughs> we have drive base. I think it's locked right now. Yeah, it's locked. But yeah, we got three drive base, which is really nice that it came with that. Uh, let me see how you how do you open this thing? I think it's just these thumb screws on the back here. It just slides off, right? Yep. There we go. Check that out. The first Intel X server. Let me see if I can get a better angle here. Yeah, it's good as we're going to get for right now. A little winded, but yeah, as you can see, as I try to flip this thing around, you can kind of see what we're working with here. We've got our CD drive. Um, hmm. I'm actually not sure what that is. This right here, I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm not sure what that is. It looks like a mini drive or something like that. No RAM. Didn't come with any RAM. Single CPU XR. I do have intentions to upgrade it to the dual CPU um, main board probably in the next month or two. So I'll definitely be getting one of those. It's got the, uh, I think it's got a GT120. I think that's a GT120. It's got one, let's see here. It's got two PCI Express slots, which will be occupied by... Uh, probably an NVMe SSD and a 10 gigabit uh, network card. <clears throat> and yeah, I think that's it. That's about all for this unboxing. Let's see 
Uh, I'm actually going to see if I can find some RAM to put in here. And uh, see if we can't fire it up. Put in the rack and uh, maybe get an OS on it today. Who knows? All right, sorry about the crappy lighting. But uh, it's about four or five days later. What I had to do was I had to pull some RAM out of the R410, put in the XServe. And I went to go boot it up, and it didn't power on. So I reseated the RAM, it powered on, but then there was no video. So I went through the uh, diagnosis process, eventually narrowed it down to it being the internal video card, which is the GT120 MXM version. So I actually purchased a GT120 off of eBay. It's a GT120 out of a 09 Mac Pro, so it should work. Without further ado, let's go ahead and see what it does. All right, and now pan up here so you guys can see. I'll move this closer. All right, so as you guys can see, it's running Mac OS X server. Uh, it looks like 10.6, so it's actually got a password. So now i got to figure out whether or not I'm going to uh, do a new user account or just go ahead and try to install a new OS on it. But uh, I guess that little silver box that was in there was an SSD, which is pretty cool. And yeah, I guess we can try to reset the password and take a look around. So give me just a second. All right, so I'm not really sure how well you can see it, but I finally got a boot screen on the XServe. I just removed the uh, Apple setup done file, and it does. Let's see here. Use English. And we get a little video too, that's pretty cool. So what it ended up, well I had to use the DVI port on the uh, Mac Pro GT120 that I got. And uh, it worked just fine. So let's see if it asks for a serial number. Yeah, it does ask for a serial number. So I might have to do it the other way. But uh, let me see if I can find a serial number and I'll get back to you if I do. Alright, so we've made it to the desktop finally. Uh, as you can see here, let me zoom in on the specs. We've got a 2.26 GHz uh, quad-core Xeon, 8 gigs of RAM. Zoom out here. We've got the server preferences open, you know, for all your stuff. You get the VPN, mail, iChat server, all that stuff. Got information here. It's got my IP address, uh, I guess the person's information who owned it before, I guess it was for an organization. Uh, things out of that, it's just telling me that my memory is in the wrong slot, which is okay. Yeah, it's pretty cool stuff. Finally got an XServe after <laughs> years of wanting one, which is pretty cool. Yeah, not really sure if I'm going to get rid of this OS yet or not, I might try to play with it a little bit. But we're definitely not going to be using this full time. We're going to be using uh, Mac OS 10.13 High Sierra. And uh, that's what we'll be using on this XServe. But I think that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I mean, uh, we got it up and running. Let me show you the specs one more time. It's running 10.6.8, 8 gigs of RAM, and 2.26 GHz uh, Intel Xeon. Let's see here if we go to. So yeah, we got an Apple SSD, 120 gigs, 122 gigs, I guess, uh, which is pretty cool. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, we're going to be setting this thing up for some services later on, not really sure what, but that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching, I'll catch you in the next one.